Hey my friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Today we are getting intimate with the 2023 Lexus UX 250H. A little bit of a walk around and a test drive and me telling you what I think. All right, before we get out on a test drive, the car we have here is a top of the line F Sport handling model. This one is pricing out at about $47,000 and some change with a pretty good stack of options on top of this trim grade. Note that the UX 250H does start out at just under $40,000. The one we have here, ultrasonic blue mica. It's an optional color. The thing to point out is while this hasn't changed that much since it was first introduced for 2023 on this trim grade, we do have a number of things that have been upgraded up on top is a black painted roof. You can also see black contrast on top of the mirrors. Looking at the grill, gloss black metallic. The chrome on this is a black chrome, and this has LED headlights, of course, and down below, LED fog lights and cornering lights. The wheels on this are 18 inch wheels, new Bridgestone tires for this year, which uh, go to some of the handling that they've changed and upgraded on the F Sport body color fender moldings now instead of the black ones gives it a little bit more of an upscale look coming around to the rear one of the things about this car that have always fascinated me are these tail lights if you sort of get around them in a 3d sense they have a bit of a tail fin effect which i, I kind of like led tail lights of course they're joined in the middle with a big led bar so they're continuous and the rear hatch on this car is a power opening hatch but it is an option at this price still an option sort of a theme developing here that's going to be talked about as we go along the interior of the ux250 is really the place that i think of when i use that word intimate at the beginning of our video and that's because this is a very nice interior for me the high point this week of this car and we'll start right with these seats in the s-sport handling you get the s-sport seats which are highly bolstered in this case red now they're not leather but they're very nicely done vinyl they're very comfortable and uh they're perforated in here in this trim grade they're both heated and ventilated i've just looked forward to getting into these chairs every single time i've gotten behind the wheel this week now looking around we also have a little bit of red stitching on the dash and a pretty good high level of materials for this being the entry level lexus new for this year is a larger screen up on top of the dash and we'll get to all of the details about that in a moment ahead of me on the instrument cluster is sort of a classic Lexus instrument cluster of late a digital screen and it has the movable center dial when you adjust it and press the button it slides over to the side LFA is where that originated and, and Lexus has carried that into a lot of their vehicles with the F Sport trim and I really like that this steering wheel F Sport steering wheel has paddle shifters on here for the simulated shifts that you get with the EVT and just high quality switch gear everywhere and F Sport shifter here as well and nice that there's actually a shifter instead of some kind of a puck or a dial uh, it does give you that sense of being a driver behind the wheel hard controls here for the hvac and looking at the storage and the console because they've redesigned the infotainment center we no longer have a puck here in the center it's a little bit more simplified up here in the front is now a place to put your phone it's actually got a wireless charger up there it is an option on this car cup holders here because they're sort of setting down in big gas station cups aren't going to sit here because they're going to be up against the dash heat controls here cooling controls for the seats and storage in here um, not the most you would think for a vehicle in this size class it's about the size of a rectangular tissue box in there well I was all a gush about how comfortable it is up in front back here it's a little bit of a different experience it's not uncomfortable surprisingly uh, for the amount of space that you can see that I have back here, it's actually relatively comfortable here in the back seat. It's just that there's not a lot of room. As you can see, these seats are set for my height, about 5'8 with my tennis shoes on, and my knees are almost touching these seats. If there were somebody taller up here, I would be in trouble. So legroom back here, not exactly plentiful. Headroom, on the other hand, I've got about 3 inches above my head, and the seating height here is pretty good those are the good things i've got vents at the back of the console 
that is a good thing. Power ports back here as well for charging all of your devices. So comfort back here is okay. It's just that the space is a little tight. Speaking of space being tight, when you fold these seats down for your cargo space, they do have a 60-40 split. You're going to find that they do fold down and you get a perfectly flat load floor. The problem is, is because the floor on this is so high, there's not a lot of height back there. It's like a regular hatchback car rather than an SUV. So it's a pretty high floor, a surprisingly high floor. Underneath it, however, is some extra storage space. But if you wanted to be able to put large bulky items back there, you might be a little bit challenged. As I said, the interior on this car was really the high point for me this week. Comfortable, high quality, everything I've always expected in a Lexus. And the fact that they brought that all the way down to even their most affordable models is always an impressive feat. The only downside that I can really think of, downsides perhaps, is the fact that the cargo space in the back isn't nearly what you'd think it'd be for a compact SUV with that really high floor and comfort in the back seat could be a little bit better. But outside of that, very well done Lexus. This interior gets four out of five stars. The infotainment system is really the big news item for the 2023 Lexus UX. It's larger, 12.3 inch screen, and it has the latest generation of Toyota's connected systems. And as you can see, it's bright white. You can have a dark background if you choose. And of course, at nighttime, that does switch over. But this has really got the Google backend with all of the connected services, navigation, all of the other ways that you can ask for the universe to help you out. Unfortunately, most of that is all subscription based. When you buy the car, you get a free trial. But at a certain point, all of these features that make this car competitive, so many of the other vehicles out there, go away unless you're paying a subscription. So I'm talking about things like the navigation, the connected services, the traffic, all of that stuff that is on the brochure making you happy with this car. Now looking at it just from what it looks like and how it works, you can see it's got pretty simple straightforward graphics. Moving around is actually pretty easy to do. The settings not a lot of settings here that really give you a lot of ways to customize this car in terms of the infotainment system, the lighting. A lot of cars really give you, you know, really granular ways to set the car up in the way that you want it. This one actually is a little bit dumbed down in that way. You don't have a lot of options like some of the competitors offer where you can adjust every little way in which this car interacts with you. Something I'm a little bit let down by is the fact that at this price in the top trim grade, we don't have like the equivalent of a Mark Levinson audio system. This is standard audio in here. Now it's, it's an adequate audio system. It works well, it sounds okay, but it's not that bump and the boom and the crisp, beautiful sound that you get with the Mark Levinson that is typical of the top end Lexus vehicles out there. It's a little bit decontented in that way. So when I, when I look at rating this system, um, it's all about the fact that while it's very nice to use, it's easy to use, most of the feature content that you're going to find makes this really competitive is subscription based and the audio system isn't quite what you'd expect at this price. This system gets three out of five stars. You notice that we're downtown, we're in the city and that's because Lexus has really told me through their marketing material that this is a vehicle that's designed for the urban environment. So here we are doing our test drive video. Now, first of all, we're in my neighborhood, Speed Humps. Those are those little speed reducing things that we find in a lot of urban areas to keep us from really getting out of control. And so one of the first tests I always like to do with any vehicle is a speed hump test. And here, just kind of going over those at the speed limit tells me how well put together the suspension is. And I'm happy to report that I'm not getting any kind of noises or metal to metal feeling. This is well bolted together going over manhole covers, speed bumps, speed humps, and the like around my neighborhoods here in town. And that goes to really what I've said about this particular chassis architecture in the past is it's very well done. It feels its price in its tuning. And this year Lexus actually did go to some effort to retune the dampers and the bushings and all of the things that sort of give this vehicle its unique feel. Um, that was just part of the refresh for this year. Now, because we're in the S-Sport, handling model this has the adaptive variable dampers so depending on which mode that you dial up this has a different feel it has a comfort setting an eco setting 
that's going to be a more compliant suspension setting when you dial it up to sport it gets more firm and more sharp and that affects the steering feel as well and so this is the vehicle that can be rather engaging when you're driving out on a curvy road or just taking that left pretty fast at the intersection but it can also be quiet and comfortable and this is a very quiet car we did not get to do our 70 mile an hour decibel test but i can tell you that road noise wind noise is all very hushed here on the road around town and out on the highway this is a car that to me at least feels its price the retune for 2023 in the suspension and the feel honestly by the seat of my pants i don't feel a big difference i liked the last generation ux 250h so um, at the very least, this is every bit as good as the last one in terms of ride, drive, and handling. This chassis gets five out of five stars. What's under the hood here is the well-proven two-liter four-cylinder Atkinson cycle engine. It's mated to an eCVT at the front with two motors, a motor generator and a traction motor, a system the Toyota's had for quite some time. And at the rear axle, it has a separate drive motor because this does have optioned the all-wheel drive. It has a total of 181 horsepower and efficiency, it's rated at 41 city, 38 highway, and 39 MPG combined. Now, if you watch my videos, one of the questions you know I always like to ask is how does it go? So we're out here on an uninterrupted piece of road. I'm gonna come to a complete stop. I've got it in sport mode. Let's see how it goes. You can hear it. You can hear it. And 60. Kind of sounds like a sports car, doesn't it? So power is actually pretty good. You know, it's not a sports car, but for a hybrid, this thing actually delivers when you step on the gas. Now, one thing you might have noticed there is you heard this thing kind of revving up and it shifted and it had a pretty good sound. That's a fake sound. Yeah, this has this very interesting system. There's a button down here you can turn it on or off, and it plays a computer-generated audio track over the stereo system. And it sounds like an engine revving up, shifting. It's actually a pretty good sound, but the reality is it isn't real. It's fake. <laughs> yeah. Where this car actually fails a little bit relative to powertrain is in its efficiency. It's rated at 41 city, 38 highway, and 39 MPG combined. In my week with it, not driving like you see in the video here, but just rather mundane everyday driving, I achieved 34 MPG in my week with it. Not nearly anywhere close to what's promised on the window sticker. So that is worth noting, that's my observation. And that does factor into my total powertrain score here, which is four out of five stars. All right, my friends, always at the end, this is where we sort of sum up what we talked about already and put a value score on this. And so this is a car that I really do like in a lot of ways. It's got a great interior. It's comfortable. It feels like quality. You sit in it, you go, ah, oh, this is nice, especially with those seats, especially with those seats. It's a comfortable car to drive. It's a hybrid right and it has all-wheel drive it's got all the bells and whistles on it which makes it nice now at the price forty seven thousand dollars and some change there's a lot of competition here even in the hybrid realm the things that disappointed me about this car are well the efficiency just wasn't quite all that but looking at this price it's just a lot of money you can get an all-wheel drive prius which is essentially the same car underneath albeit not quite as nice and dressed up for a little bit less and um, anecdotally the fuel economy on those cars is a little better the other thing that sort of hit me sideways was this new infotainment system that while fully featured wants to dock you an extra few bucks for a subscription don't appreciate that at all as a consumer so when i look at value all of these things put together i rate that at four stars when you put that in with everything we've already talked about we're at four out of five stars for the review so there you go the updated 2023 Lexus UX 250H. Yeah, so if you like what we do, follow us on social media. We have a lot of news and updates that we do there that's not always included on a full length video. You can also see our latest video right there or better yet, best yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.